comment. Thank you for always liking, subscribing, and sharing. And here I am. This is going to be a, a little, uh, it's going to be quick, but it's not that quick. I mean, it takes about an hour or so to do. Well, you know, it's fall, guys. So we got some squash. And I found this squash. I think I was talking about this in um, one of my Sunday videos. But I found this sucker in the store. And the guy said, you know, these are delicious. So I'm going to give them a try. And I was talking, I went in, um, I went up to Delaware with my brother and he said, what is this? He said, I got this in my garden. So this is from my brother, Stanley. He has, and this is a squash. I don't know, this one I know is an acorn squash. This one I believe could be a butternut squash. I'm gonna make them both. I'm gonna put them, I'm gonna roast these things. And I'm gonna let you guys know how to do this. And uh, I think they're gonna be good. So you stick with me for a little bit and you will find out what I know, okay? I'll be right back. All right, first of all, you need a really sharp knife. You really need a really sharp knife. This is this knife I'm actually gonna sharpen for you guys right now. So, you know, so you can see, I, I have to have a sharp knife and I hope, man, I maybe have to use a different one, but I'm gonna try this one on it. So this thing is really hard, so you gotta have it sharp, so. Okay, I'm gonna try to, first I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut the stem. You see the stem right here? I'm gonna get that stem off. And I'm hoping, gotta be careful because like I said, this thing is certainly hard. Okay, I got the top off. Okay, I got them cut. There we go. You see the seeds inside? They say you can roast these and it would be beautiful, but I'm gonna take them out. I'm not gonna roast them. They say they're like, they're like pumpkin seed, but I'm gonna take them right out. Okay, I got the seeds out right here, guys. All right, and what I'm gonna do at the moment is I'm gonna put them on a baking sheet but I will be back because I'm gonna cut the other one. I wanna show you the other one. Here's the other one. This is the one that Stanley gave me. My brother gave this to me. So I'm gonna give this a try too. I'm gonna have to cut it. This smells like, has a, um, it kind of smells like a cantaloupe. A little bit fruity it has a fruity smell to it all right guys here I am they're all cut here they go they're all cut and I got all the seeds out and you notice this one here is more orange than this one this one here is definitely more orange than this one this one's probably sweeter than this one but you know what you could put uh, butter and cinnamon or you could just put some salt and pepper and some butter on it either way what I'm gonna make them today I'm gonna make them with um, with some brown sugar and some cinnamon and butter so I'm gonna bake them like that so here they are I'm going to score them with the same knife I'm gonna put a little score in them before I put the butter in the score it a little You don't gotta go too deep, but you wanna just, especially if you want the, the butter and the cinnamon and the sugar to get in there, then just give it a little score. Careful with the knife, careful with the knife. I personally would score before I put any butter or anything in here so that 
ain't nothing slippery while you're trying to use a sharp knife. You don't want to do anything to hurt yourself. The knife is going against, but this knife is going in the opposite direction of my hand that's holding it. I'll tell you right now. You just want to make sure you move your hand. Okay. It's a real simple recipe. And I heard the man in the store talking about the, this one, how delicious it is. That's what it actually is, is, you know, right out of the refrigerator. So it's a little bit hard. So I'm just going to put it, dab it all over around the sides and whatnot. And you literally can put more butter on it when you, um, after it's baked. So, but I just want to put some in here right now. And you can scoop the butter all over it when it's baked. So it's not a huge deal that it is not um, actually melt it it's fine because it's going in this oven for a while All right. so the butter's on there now i'm gonna put pop a little cinnamon on here just a little pop of cinnamon not a lot just a little it's a little shake of cinnamon and i'm also going to put some brown sugar on there I'm just going to take some and put some right on top. This is wonderful for Thanksgiving, for the holidays, for, for the fall. I mean, it's, it's good. So this can be one of your side dishes for your, for, your, a holiday, for your holiday meal. So, all the time you want it. So now I'm putting mine in the oven and my oven is on 400 degrees. It's going to stay in there a good hour. I'm going to check on it. And when it's finished, I will let you know what's going on. I'm back and this is out of the oven was on the oven, in the oven for 400, at 400 degrees for maybe an hour and, um, you know, about 10 minutes. What you want to do is take a knife and you want to make sure it is, you know, it goes right through. And then this, this particular one, yeah, good. And here too, these are good. You want the, you want the knife, you want everything to go right through. Then you know it's done, tender. That's the end of that. So I want a spoon, and I'm gonna spoon the juices like right all, all over that. Just a little, get that butter all over it. Just get it all in there nicely. And after I do that, I am going to, oh, look at that, that didn't have that much butter in it. I'll put some of that butter in, okay. I'm gonna take a taste, guys. So it is really, really hot. I'm taking, I'm gonna try my brother's first. Try a little bit of his first. See how this tastes. I'm gonna scoop them all out. I'm gonna scoop it all out and um, I'm gonna probably save it because I don't know if I'm gonna eat all of this right now, but I'm gonna let this cool because it's steaming hot. It's steaming hot. If you could, if you could see it, this thing is really hot. You see, actually, I have uh, my little vote. I voted today, guys. It's important to vote. I know it's not like last year, but guys, you really still should vote. So I voted early, and if you can vote, go ahead and vote. I know when you see this, probably voting may be over, but remember that. Remember always go vote. You know, you have that right, and you need to do it. So that's why it's on here, because I had a long day today. But oh my goodness. It's very good. It's very, very good. It tastes like candy, man. 
very good. I'll take another little piece of his. It's very, 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 very good. And good for you. I'm gonna take another piece of his. Oh my gosh, good. And then we're gonna try a little of this one. The acorn squash. This is the acorn squash. I gotta take pictures and I gotta take thumbnails. So I'm not gonna eat so much of it, but it is really, really, really good. Mmm. 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 -mm. I really like the acorn. It's heavenly. If I didn't put no sugar on there, I don't think it even needs any sugar. It is just good by itself, man. I gotta take my thumbnails. But guys, you gotta get this in the store while they have them. This is acorn squash and butternut squash. And, you know, it's fall. It is time to make your plans for your um, your Thanksgiving and your Christmas. And you can put these, at, put these out for side dishes. And it's good. It's healthy. And it is just good food. And I'm about good food, man. So I want to thank you all for coming, liking, subscribing, sharing, and being here with me. I am gone because I had a long day today. And I want to make sure I had to get this done before... I get other things I still have to do. But anyway, I'm out. I got things to do. And I love you all. Mwah, mwah. See you soon.